Hello everyone, this is Joe Sonic Boom here, and I know it's been, still have been a long while. I'm still working on Crasper Brasper Ghost. As of now, since this will be the completely different uh, movie that I would ever made, and possibly even more films like this will come in the future, since I'm planning to do a full length version of my reality Hollowmine film that I did a year ago, and hopefully you guys will like it, and I hope you like um, Crash My Brass Book Ghost when it gets finished, since I uploaded two clips from the movie, and let me just say that paper animation is not easy, but I'll save all that maybe for the behind the scenes video. Anyway, Jurassic Park, it's one of the greatest film series of all time, uh, the first film, great, um, the second film, even though people may have some mixed feelings about that one, I like that one, but uh, people do have a strong hate for JP3, but uh, I don't, because um, over the years I always have my fair share of Jurassic Park stuff, like if we have the first film on DVD, uh, this this one's the original version and it's all foiled, which is cool. This is the standard VHS, which I got in the car boot sale recently. And that's really cool. Same thing with the Lost World DVD. I love this case with all the detailed raptors. Um, and this is the Lost World VHS that I had since when I was born. And um, this movie scared me a lot when I was little. Because this is the darkest film out of the original trilogy. Of course I can't say that now because since there's a new Jurassic Park film that came out. Uh, Jurassic Park 3, let me just say this out of the way. Jurassic Park 3 doesn't suck. I don't would know why that people have a strong hate for this film, all because their favorite T-Rex got killed by the Spinosaurus. Even though I like the T-Rex, I do like Spinosaurus, but get over it! Because every single time when I'm at my uh, uh, inbox, you know, when people always comment on my uh, T-Rex vs Spinosaurus video that I did five years ago at 2010, uh, I always still look at those comments because people just come out with some baloney comments which is outright funny and here we have the JP3 VHS you see this one's all foiled which is really nice and of course I had my fair share of Jurassic Park games uh, this one I always re remember the most which is the Jurassic Park on Super Nintendo uh, I always remember this game fondly like I did release a video in 2011 of me getting chomped by the T-Rex. If you haven't seen it, go and check in the in the video section. And also, like you have all the um, overhead shots of someone shooting raptors, even the indoors, which always kind of crept me out when I was little, especially with the music, uh, which is always kind of creepy. And also, it's compatible with the Super NES mouse. And of course, two years ago, well, actually no, I think a year ago. I think it might be a year ago when I got my hands on Jurassic Park Operation Genesis for the PlayStation 2. I'm thinking about getting my hands on the Xbox One because um, in that one you have more dig sites and less slowdown because this one is plagued with slowdown and also uh, really long loading times. But still, it's a very good game. And recently with the new film Jurassic World, I got my hands on the PlayStation 3 Lego Jurassic World, which is absolutely awesome so I recommend you guys check it out and also go and watch Jurassic World movie I mean that is awesome lots of nostalgia but I won't spoil anything for you so that's that now let's get on to the main event this is a double review of the two Jurassic Park VHS's that I have recently which is the fossil and the DNA case so let's start off with the fossil this is the Fossil VHS tape released in 1994, just less than a few couple of months after when the movie came out. Because usually VHSs at the 90s usually come just a year or just a few couple of months after the movie. But uh, this is the Fossil case, as you see. It looks really nice. I mean, this looks like something you would see today, like steelbooks. But of course, they're saying steelbook. This thing, this thing's made out of nice, good plastic. I mean, all the details, like the fossil in grooves over here, the Jurassic Park logo itself is actually foiled, even you actually see little white details to enhance the like skeletal structure, of course you have JP, uh, Jurassic Park on the spine, even more gridded detail, and also you have this dinosaur that I don't know of, I think it might be, uh, maybe, 
I have no idea, but it looks really cool, especially with the head and also with the ribs that are out of the thing. Uh, yeah, it's PG, so kids, you better not watch this movie. So, um, yeah, so it's really cool, the case, and uh, it just feels so nice in the hands. And plus, you see this little crevice here, um, that's for you to open the tape up, and also you get like this little uh, book here, which, uh, which says, CONGRATULATIONS! on buying the biggest movie of all time and no joke this movie made a lot of money in 1993 i think it rounded the 900 million category category and also it tells you all about how the begin making of the movie even telling you about its brief plot even some jurassic facts and uh, i hate this movie the flintstones i didn't mind the show much but the movie Oh, I just want to shoot myself. The only good things about that movie is Rick Moranis and uh, John Goodman. So those were the only good things about it. Since I know Rick Moranis from the uh, Ghostbusters movie and John Goodman from Emperor's New Groove, which is a great movie, by the way. And uh, yeah, so the fossil case is easy to come by on eBay, but it still looks really nice. Now on to the last bit, which is the DNA case, and this thing is ab. Absolutely huge. Excuse me, once I just need to get these chain things off because uh, because I went to college with this the other day and uh, you know just to show it off. Here we have the DNA case, uh, which uh, I think Jurassic Collectibles mentioned that this is a a um, HMV exclusive in the UK. Unfortunately, though, it is missing one leg underneath and. Also missing the PG logo on top, even though you can barely make out a triangle that used to be there. And uh, on the back, it shows you what you get on I get inside. But of course, you guys want to see it, so uh, let's show it off. And uh, this is what's inside. You have to get this little book, which got this again with this foil um, logo, but this time it's actually embossed, which is really cool and also it's really nicely reflective too uh, when you open it up it tells you all about how DNA works and also how all the dinosaurs like work and even us humans like with frog DNA like in the movie uh, but some of the drawings are a bit dated but uh, I better not be too harsh on the uh, artwork because they did try their best the raptor looks okay at least uh, the compi over here looks good though, uh, with all the DNA splicing, other things, even get this gigantic poster which I won't be able to fit because this thing's so huge. Uh, uh, this is what it looks like at the back, showing all the DNA, and also this really nice drawing of the Fosquito inside the amber, and uh, yeah, yeah this artwork. The Raptor itself doesn't look that bad, but it's teeth. Look at, god, look at the teeth, it looks so... Ugh. And uh, of course, you get all these dino cars that you can cut out, but uh, the, but I'm not really gonna like cut them out because you know you have to collect, keep this as collectors stuff. But if I want to photocopy them and cut them out, you know, I like just photocopy it and uh, saves me cutting these out. But still, these are very very nice. So this is a really nice book. Uh, this is just like a hang thing to hold your book. Uh, this is the watch that you get with the. Um, with the set. I don't know what kind of watch this is, but uh, as you see, it's got this reflective T-Rex that's inside. Uh, sorry for the glare. Uh, yeah, you can just make out the T-Rex right in there, but uh, yeah, there you go. You see it? Yeah, it's all 3D and kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what kind of watch this is. I know it's not a battery one because there's no cap here. Uh, I think you pull this out and you twist it or something but uh, still that's really cool and then you have the map of Isla Nubla which is the first island in the dress box and stuff and you can tell it's like a big huge map I can't really open this out because it's quite a huge map and it's got a crudely drawn T-Rex and even the Dilophosaurus as well but the raptor on here is a actually yeah, because you have Parasaur and Lothus down there. He looks alright. Brachiosaurus, he's well, freaking huge. And Gallimimus looks good. Uh, the Raptor, 
Uh, yeah, he's alright. So it's all good from here. And you get like this security pass. Unfortunately, someone has already bit on here, which is you know, I think about maybe getting a white sticker and covering that, then write my own name on it. Uh, but this is still cool though, because uh, they don't really do like this anymore. And finally, we have the VHS chest itself, which is the standard VHS chest, which I showed you earlier. But at least this one also comes with the um, with the book one. But at least this one's bit mint condition. What I like about the case is that. There's a embossed Jurassic Park logo in the um, plastic, and also uh, the VHS itself looks really nice, especially with the T-Rex logo in, in there. So overall, I really love these two VHS sets, and uh, I'll probably be collecting more of these special VHSs in the future. Like a year ago, I showed off the Alien Trilogy logo, uh, Alien Trilogy um, one, and uh, overall, I think these two VHS sets are a true testament of time because you don't get this anymore because uh, all people care about now is steel books and mini statues but nothing like this because this I think is visually impressive because let's say like if you're working at Jurassic Park like literally I think you'll be uh, spotted of having this along with you kind of thing which I think Actually, if I do an Operation Genesis review in the future, maybe I can use this as like I'm pretending like I'm working at Jurassic Park or something. So, uh, yeah, that's the review of the DNA case and the fossil one. So, yeah, I do highly recommend this, even though the fossil one is easily, easily to find, but um, the DNA one is quite hard to find and you may pay a big amount for it. So. Be full aware of that, but the fossil one you can easily find it. This is I did find this for about four, I think four pound ninety nine, while this one was sixty pounds. I had to pay a lot of money for that, and uh, so these two are very good. So be aware that that one there may cost you a lot, but this one you are easy to find. But uh, these two are really good true testament of great home video. Um, exclusives instead of now with Steelbook, which I don't mind, I do like Steelbooks, but uh, these were just so much better, like they were worth something. So overall these two were really good, and uh, I really enjoyed Jurassic World, and after Crabs for Brasbourne, maybe even after Pink Panther, I may work on a Jurassic Park movie myself uh, to celebrate Jurassic World, but uh, it's not going to be about Jurassic World, it's just going to be just the regular Jurassic Park kind of thing. Because the Indominus Rex figure is very expensive. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time and hopefully Crasper Brasper Ghost will be done soon. So I'm glad you guys are being patient and uh, hopefully this video will keep your ap appetites up. So this is Joe Sonic Boom signing out.